my worst year. My mum died in year four, but my worst year was in year 10, and that was when I felt it most. The teachers couldn't comprehend that why when I had lost mum so many years ago, why my pain was so strong then, and it was because as I grow my grief, it changes and grows. Grief can be a very isolating process. It feels like you're the only one in the world who is experiencing um, the feelings and um, the loss that people go through. And it's not easy to talk about it and other people don't always want to talk about it. So my name is Susie Phillips. I work for a child bereavement charity called Winston's Wish. The consequences of bereavement can be huge. It can impact a child's mental health, particularly depression and anxiety, which um, affects how they behave at school. They might find it hard to concentrate. They can um, make it harder to reach their full potential um, academically and um, make friendships difficult, put them at risk of exclusion. Despite um, the difficult nature of death, we know that with the right level of support, children can go on to lead full and flourishing lives. So my name is Phoebe and my mum died when I was nine years old. So my initial school, honestly, in the, in the wrongs, they didn't do any wrong. They did it, they got it right, they got it spot on. They sent flowers home, so that wasn't just helping me, that was helping my family. They encouraged the kids to talk, they encouraged the kids to help me by sending um, letters home. And I think that, in a way, sets up the children for understanding and helping with other bereavements they will come across in later life. But there were other schools that didn't have any understanding of, of bereavement that happens with younger children. They didn't have any understanding that Mother's Day will be different each year for me. There could be a year where I was okay on Mother's Day or another year where I was awful on Mother's Day. I think that just every school handled it very differently. So Winston's Wish um, supports bereaved children and their families when a parent or sibling has died. Um, we offer a range of services, often starting with our helpline, where um, parents can call us or text us or email us um, to make that first contact and we can have conversations with them about how best to support their children. We also have lots of professionals who contact us, often schools, um, to think about how best they can support the children um, following a death of a parent or a sibling. My last school um, was the best, they just, they understood that an anniversary was an anniversary and that a birthday was a birthday. My tutor at the time knew when these dates were. She was able to be ready for these days and help me on those days and understand that each year, maybe an anniversary was gonna be more different and more difficult than a previous anniversary. Independent thinking on loss gives practical, easily accessible advice to teachers um, that they can use after a child has experienced the death both with that child and with the wider, net, wider network of children in the class and the school to provide the best possible support. Talk. Talk. Talk when it hurts, talk when it doesn't hurt. Um, be open, understand the loss, be, be open to answering questions, or to questioning um, why you've lost your parent, you know, and know that it's not your fault. Just know that it's not your fault, none of it's your fault. I think the advice to um, teachers following um, a death um, would be don't be afraid to talk about it. Um, it is one of the most difficult things that can happen in somebody's life. It's also a really, really difficult thing to talk about, but um, there's nothing that you can say that can make it worse. Um, the worst has already happened. Um, and, um, and we know that children just want people to acknowledge what's happened. You don't have to have all the answers straight away. Um, they just want somebody to say, I've heard about what's happened and are you okay? And it's gonna be okay. There's always 
there's always space for growth. It's, you know, the pain doesn't go away, but you learn to make space for it within. And I think that's okay. She's not going to come back. He's not going to come back. Whoever, whoever you love isn't going to come back. But you're going to be okay.